Calvin Kramer account I created. And what we have here, interestingly enough, is we have an email saying, invite the KIO Networks event at 6 p.m. Central today. How about that? That's actually about now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. Uh, we don't want to do this browser ad on garbage. So we're going to actually look at this email. And it's basically uh, at the event, please join my meeting, 6 p.m. today. Here's the go to meeting link. Here's the phone number to call. Here's the access code. So let's go ahead and copy the meeting code. And now let's go to the go to meeting site. So we're going to click on it. Let me go back out. Now we're going to go to meeting. You ever see go to meeting here? People use this site? It's really popular in the US. I don't know about here. Right? So what we want to do is put in our meeting ID. We're going to paste it in. We're going to join the meeting. And then it's asking me to auto-complete. I don't want to bother with that. Um, and I'm waiting. Now it's asking me to run the GoToMeeting opener. Because to use any of the software to join meetings, you have to install software so your computer could interact with other users that are in the same meeting. So we'll go ahead and do that. Run the software. It's running a security scan. It passes. It's fine. And what we're going to do is actually, now we're going to close the browser, just close it, because it doesn't matter anymore. Because now, right now, all the files are being encrypted. Because when I went and clicked yes to run the GoToMeeting opener, it was actually the WannaCry worm, the same malware that was used to attack 175 countries. And in a moment, what's going to happen is after, after it's scrambling the files, now we get the message that your files are encrypted. And, and here we get the, the Bitcoin address. Send $300 with the Bitcoin here. You have a limited time. You have to September 9th at this time. If you don't do it, the price is going up, right? And if you don't do it in a week by September 13th, guess what? You lose access to all your files. So this is how social engineering could be used to infect your company with ransomware. And this is a real um, insidious type of malware that you don't want on your network, right? So let me go ahead and actually what's cool about, you know, how do you protect yourself against ransomware is you have vigilant backups, right? So you can always restore. So since this is a virtual machine, what's cool about this is I just go back to my last snapshot and then I'm cool, no more ransomware. But unfortunately, businesses weren't in the same case. So let me actually save this and we'll move on.